Turning to our news tonight, beginning today, Outagamie County residents will be paying a little bit more at those cash registers. Local 5's Paul Evenson has more on the county's new sales tax increase. Outagamie County residents may not have noticed it yet, but starting today, their store receipts will reflect a new half percent increase in sales tax. Every time that there's a printed receipt, they're going to see a 0 0.5, and they're going to be reminded of that every single time they go to the store, every single time. This is not going to be going away. Outagamie County Executive Tom Nelson vetoed the proposal last June, but less than a week later, the county board voted to override his veto. As the new tax takes effect, Nelson still stands behind his opposition. This is a kind of tax that is regressive, and it affects and it hurts those who are least able to afford it. It was a fiscally responsible thing to do. County Board Chairman Jeff Nguyen stands behind their decision to use the tax increase to reduce debt and lower property taxes. If you lived in Ottagamie County, property taxes went down an average of 17 percent. I know mine went down 16 percent, which was about $150. The new sales tax may have taken effect today, but the issue over how the money is spent may still be unresolved as both sides continue to watch an ongoing legal battle in Brown County. There is a part of the sales tax in terms of how it will be spent that mirrors the Brown County sales tax. I'm concerned about that. There's 67 other counties now that have a sales tax, so they're all waiting to see what happens as well. But, you know, we're following the letter of the law, so we've got that on our side. Reporting in Outagamie County, Paul Evenson, Local 5 News.